the last one for the applications of this Wilson Schwarzfeld coordination rule is the one dimensional simple harmonic oscillator 1D SHO. This uh, 1D uh, simple harmonic oscillator is viewed as a particle of mass m of particle particle of a mass m is oscillating to an oscillating along through the put through the equilibrium positions here x equal to 0 one dimensional this particle this particle is oscillating to and from motions passing through this uh, equilibrium positions and the for this sim for this uh, simple harmonic oscillator Hooke's law is obeyed whenever it is displaced it is displaced the restoring force is created and uh, and actually the all simple harmonic or this motion we can call the simple harmonic motion in which case the Hooke's law is obeyed. The Hooke's law is that restoring force, restoring force of this restoring force is proportional to the x. x is the displacement of this particle from this mean position, from this equilibrium position. And so this one equal to minus kx. k is the force constant. Uh, k is the force constant, force constant, and x is the displacement from this equilibrium position minus negative sign. Negative sign is added to indicate that fx and x both are in opposite directions. If x is moving in this direction, fx is acting in opposite directions, so negative sign is also added. And the potential energy. Potential energy, potential energy uh, V equal to uh, we know from this force we can calculate a zero when potential energy is zero and this is x and and f x and a dx. So this one uh, this one equal to uh, minus zero to x and here instead of fx we can write minus kx into dx and it is equal to half kx square that means the potential energy the potential energy is equal to half kx square for a relations of the potential energy with the with this displacement x is parabolic in nature now we may consider the wilson schwarzfeld coordination rule for this system here the x is changing periodically so it is a periodic motions and for the periodic motions the quantization rule is that p phi uh, p x and d x equal to n h for one cyclic motions for one cyclic motions uh, p x is the x component a linear momentum x is the displacement changing and a is the uh, quantum number and the quantum number having the values values 0 1 2 3 etc here the problem lies that px and x both are changing both are changing periodically whenever this uh, particle is at this position x x equal to 0 x equal to 0 uh, then then uh, then px is maximum and when this particle is at this extreme position then the px equal to 0 so px and x both are actually changing periodically so its integration is a little bit tough we can do it by means of graphical method or by direct integration method here i try to present the integration by direct mathematical way and uh, and uh, we know the total energy of the system is kinetic energy uh, plus potential energy 
kinetic energy equal to px square by twice m and potential energy we have read, already reduced half k x square so when 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 x equal to uh, 0 when x equal to xc xc means maximum displacement maximum displacement of this particle maximum displacement or extreme displacement of this particle then px then px equal to equal to 0 means it is coming back and and the velocity uh, zero and px is also zero putting here putting here this we can have the xc xc the maximum displacement is equal to uh, root of r of twice e uh, by by k twice by k so this uh, particular the for for one motions one direction one directional for one directional for the oscillations in one direction this x is changing from minus xc to to plus xc for the oscillation in one direction that is that is from minus uh, twice e by k k to to plus uh, root of r twice e by k k is the total energy k is the force constant so we can write this integration integration uh, p x uh, d x equal to <coughs> p x d x equal to the range will be for the complete oscillation from here to here and then coming to the same positions it is twice the minus root of r of twice e by k uh, and plus root of r twice e by k uh, and here px instead of px we can write here the px instead of px we can write uh, from these relations the px equal to root of r of twice m into e minus half k x squared instead of writing the px so the so the px only the variable is connected in terms of this x, x. so so we can write here the 2m uh, into into e minus half k x squared bracket into into dx and this is the this integration now comes which contains only one variable x is the fix is the total energy of this uh, of this uh, simple harmonic oscillator total energy always fixed m is the mass of this uh, particular so this one we can write a 2 into uh, root over of 2m we can take outside of the indication and and this one minus root over of uh, twice e by k this is the limit and plus root over of twice e by k limit and here the uh, root over e minus half k x square uh, into into dx Now we can do the integration. Uh, this one equal to uh, actually this function. This function is even function. This function is even function uh, as f x equal to f minus x. So for this even function, we know that minus a uh, plus a. Uh, f x dx we can write twice into 0 to plus a and f x f x dx for the saving function we can write also like this way so integration becomes uh, 2 into uh, 2 root of 
2m and into 2 and here the limit is 0 to root over of twice e by k and and here root over e minus half k x square bracket close and at dx. So this one actually uh, 4 into root over of twice m and if we bring this half k by 2 root over out of this integral sign then it will be 0 to root over of uh, twice e by k k and and in this case twice e by root over twice e by k minus twice e by k minus x square and within this bracket and, and dx. Now the standard integral, now the standard integral rule is that, standard integral rule is that if it is root of r of a square minus x square into a dx, this is this will give you the integration x by 2 root over a square minus x square plus x by a and sin and sin sin x by a a square and uh, sin inverse sin inverse x y a plus c plus c a square by 2 sin inverse x y a plus c so we can utilize this uh, standard integral rule this is standard uh, standard uh, integral rule for this integration we have this one equal to this integration uh, 4 4 root over of mk and this one will give you x x x by x by 2 into root of her twice e minus k minus x square plus uh, plus a a means twice a square means twice e divided by twice k twice k and sine sine inverse inverse x by root over of twice e by k bracket close and the range is 0 to root over of twice e by k twice e by k so so simplifying this one equal to uh, 4 into root over of m uh, k and this one putting this value equal to 0 and plus e by k e by k and sin inverse sin inverse putting this value 1 now the standard integral now the integration integration uh, p x uh, d x equal to uh, 
फोर इंटू रूट वन ऑफ एम के इंटू ई बाई के साइन इनवर्स वन इक्वल टू पाई बाई टू इक्वल टू टू ई इंटू टू पाई इंटू रूट वन ऑफ एम वाई के so this one according to this uh, condition rule this one equal to n h n h n is the quantum number so the energy of this simple harmonic oscillator e equal to n h into 1 by equal to 1 by 2 pi root over k by m but but 1 by 2 pi root over k by m is called the frequency of the source letter this is this is this one is frequency of the source letter frequency of the oscillator so the energy energy e or e n for this uh, nth level equal to n h uh, new not new not the energy levels so energy is quantized by this integration method i can i can show um, this energy this way. If we if we do this uh, plot here x equal to 0 and here the energy then then both the potential energy potential energy potential energy v v equal to half k x square and e equal to n h nu naught both this value we can do it n equal to 0, e equal to 0, this is the potential energy V and this this total energy is quantized. n equal to 1, e1 equal to h nu naught and n equal to 2 and e2 equal to equal to twice h nu naught and, and so on. So this energy is quantized and the spacing of the spacing of the energy levels are equal means equispaced and this is called energy sometimes called the energy energy ladder energy ladder. This is also analogous to the um, vibrational motions of this diatomic molecules vibrational motions of this uh, diatomic molecules it is coming this way and coming this way. In this way it is vibrating vibrating and this in in that case this m is replaced by mu mu the reduced mass of this system and uh, this is if this one m1 this one m2 then be equal to m1 m2 divided by m1 plus 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 m2 m2 this is all about the particle in one dimensional box. <coughs> now this is all about the three dimensional simple harmonic oscillator and in total four there are four applications of the solution swap quantization rule one after another I have discussed fully with the mathematical details and and its uh, explanations. So I thank to you all who are watching this video.